So, ever since Shin Megami Tensei 5 was shown at Nintendo E3, I and many others have been crazy hyped for the release. And, surprisingly enough, there hasn't been much controversy, if at all. I haven't seen people complain about the design of the main character, the setting, or the graphics. According to most people, it's all great stuff. But, on June 20th, I got this video recommended to me. SMT5 controversy? Really? I thought I was just out of the loop or something, but no, I was not at all. So, yeah, let's get into it. During the last E3, at long last, some gameplay was shown from Shin Megami Tensei 5, included a release date, of course, for November. When I watched the trailer, it blew me away and I became hyped. I am so excited for this release, been waiting on it for a long time, and most of you probably know I've actually made various videos about it in the past, right? Then I learned about all the internet drama. Like I said, I haven't seen any internet drama, so I have no idea what he's talking about. Let's see. I noticed people comparing the game to Pokemon and Persona, ignorant of the history of the Mega Tensei series, and finally, the memes about the androgynous design of the main character. Now, the Shin Megami Tensei fanbase is one of the most toxic fandoms I've seen in my life. It's horrible, and as a huge fan of the series, it often shames me to be a part of it. Hey, uh, Fun Fact Friday, you can play the games and not associate with the community? I know that's just absolutely crazy thought, I know. So you can only imagine the rage of most people when they saw all these comparisons to Pokemon and Persona. I'll agree that it's a little annoying reading these comments, but they come from people who don't know much about the series. This is just about the only thing in the entire video I agree with, so good job, I guess. Everything about monster or creature collecting or capturing is always compared to Pokemon, so it's normal. They don't know Shin Megami Tensei came way before Pokemon, and it might have influence to an extent as a matter of fact. Well, that is a very bold and questionable assumption at best. Most people also don't know that Persona is a Shin Megami Tensei spin-off that recently became its own series. If he considers 1996 recent, then yeah, sure, it's recent. The ginormous commercial success of Persona 4 and 5 left some of their fans astray far away from the franchise's origins. So why make a drama about it? Instead of destroying these people with insults or attacking them, why don't you just teach them? Just tell them SMT came before and that Persona is, or was, a part of it. There's also people saying that this series seems to be back in a negative connotation to the high school setting. Now, I don't know where he heard this from, but I've seen literally no one complain about this. Like, literally no one, so... If he can show screenshots of people complaining about this, I will be genuinely surprised. Nothing really wrong with that, as all first games in the series, most of them being Japan exclusive, take place in high school with a student as the main character. Hell, even the MC from Nocturne is a freaking student for Christ's sake. But I know it's hard to go back after both games from Shin Megami Tensei 4 came out, which do not take place within a school setting. The point is, come on, give it a break, SMT has always been connected to high schoolers and shit. And last, but definitely not least, the new protagonist. It's hard not to notice his androgynous appearance, but you know what? The artist Masayuki Doi often makes some of his characters like this. It's just that this new dude has long hair when he transforms, and that's it! Why make a fucking drama about it? I'm gonna be perfectly honest, the only person I see throwing a fit about this is you, so... And all these ridiculous rumors about the gender binary or whatever they're making? You just saw a 3 minute trailer and think this character is LGBT already? That's just bullshit! Okay, so he's one of those type of people. A small percent of people had canoning the bro tag as LGBT literally has no effect on the game, and it shouldn't affect you either. I'm excited for this new release. Yes, it looks slightly different, yes, it looks more colorful, but it's Shin Megami Tensei. From what I saw in the trailer, it looks true to the series. That's a damned fine game I saw! I know the memes won't stop, I know the hatred between Persona and SMT fans also won't stop, but I hope I can reach a few people at least with this video and convince them to stop behaving like 12 year old kids. Just be excited like some of us are, as a fan of the series, and be patient for the release. But that's just my opinion. 
Without this stupid internet drama, some influencers wouldn't exist. And hell, without it, this video would never exist. The funny thing is, this video shouldn't exist. You're literally just making up drama. No one is actually mad about anything in SMT5. You are just making things up for the sake of making a YouTube video. Ha! <laughs> the nasty irony. So, yeah, that's it. It's him just being a baby the whole time and whining about nothing. So, yeah, fun times. Alright, so I want to apologize for my lack of uploads. I've been doing a lot of summer school. And I've been doing a couple projects, uh, Dragon Ball related, that I'm going to reveal soon. I'm going to be uploading more, hopefully, hopefully more Shin Megami Tensei 5 stuff. I want to talk about the special edition debacle. I also want to talk about Nocturne. I haven't bought it yet. I just want to talk about the quality of the remaster and why I haven't bought it. I also want to talk about Catherine Fullbody and Persona 5 Strikers, as I do have a Catherine Fullbody script, but I did that forever ago and I pretty much need to redo it. And I also, I need to beat Strikers. <laughs> And then I have to do voiceovers for both of those, so, yeah.